Yo, what is up today, guys? Today we are going to be reviewing two Bidax Gammas 601. I really do like how these look. I've been having these for about a week now. I like this freaking the gold and black kind of look. Not going to lie. I do like the case on this. It really stands out in my opinion. It doesn't give that, that 3D printed look. It's like that, that injected mold. In my opinion, it looks really nice. Even on the back side of these Gammas. See if I don't chop my fingers off. Little bit axe gamma. I want to say it's lasered on. Not too sure. It looks like it. But these look really sick in my opinion. Um, these are running a little hot today. Oh, this is about 60 degrees as you can see right there. But yeah, these look really nice. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing these two both. And we're going to actually show you guys how to set these up from your house. As you can see, it's just a plug and play you just put inside with the battery. Pretty simple, about a five minute setup. But we're actually gonna show you guys how to set this up to a pool. And let's get started. Okay, so once you guys have these plugged in and ready to go, you're gonna have to go to your Wi-Fi. And it should say like, oh, Bidax, so-and-so, uh, or whatever. I will not, I'm not gonna actually have it as my, uh, as my option, just because I already have these set up. And once it's set up, it automatically goes away so no one else could use it or get into your device. But once you do that, let's just say you're on a computer, you will get prompted to this screen right here. You would have like these little graphs and everything. I wanna say you would have nothing on the graph because you obviously haven't done anything to it yet. But if you're on iOS, you would only be able to see this little menu right here. If you don't, sometimes it's a little weird. If you don't, just click these three little lines right here and you will be seeing the menu on both ends, iOS or and or computer. Once that is done, you're gonna to have to go to a network. It's gonna say the host name, which is gonna be the device. Don't change that, it's just there by default. Your Wi-Fi SSID, you're gonna to have to put your Wi-Fi name and then obviously your password. Once that is done, you're gonna to have to click save and then hit this little button right here that says restart. What is that gonna do? That's gonna be allowing you to restart your device. Once that is done, you could actually close this screen right now and we're actually going to head over to the machine right now. So let's get that over there. So once you guys have your network set up onto the actual device and reset, it's going to pop up the Bidax IP 10.0.0.126. This one, it's 0.225. You're actually going to put that into your Safari or Chrome or whatever you use for your uh, computer to actually access the firmware of these two devices. So let's get back into that. So with that information, you're gonna put it over here to the computer. Uh, I have this as CK pool, which you're gonna have public pool right here, but I kind of just switched both of these, as you can see in once you solder up yours, you're actually gonna have public pool up here and you're gonna have CK pool down here. I actually switched these two. You could do that as well, or you could keep us public pool, or if you're gonna do a different pool, you could just put the other pools information inside it, which I right now I have solo. Uh, this is going to be the stratum port for my uh, for my pool. Once you're done with that, you put those two in there. You're actually going to put right over here in this blurred out area, which I'm going to have blurred out, is going to be your wallet address to where you're actually going to get your Bitcoin if you do hit a block. And then stratum password is just going to be whatever the password you might have for your own. Um, for your pool information, sometimes they want you to have a password, sometimes they don't. It's completely up to them. Or when you actually go do it, it will tell you. So I actually have a follow back, which is going to be the public pool IG, IO, which is where it originally came with. And I have the stratum port and then obviously my wallet again, which is going to be blurred out in the video. And again with the password. Once that is done, you're going to hit the save button right here and they're going to restart it. So you're going to have to do that as well. So after you're done with that, you should come back to the dashboard and you should see if this is going to load, your hash rate is going to start to go. Uh, it's going to be telling you the temperature, which is going to be this white line right here. Your average hash rate, which is this dotted line. You could also, you know, just mess around with it. You could take out everything if you want. If you come down over here, you're going to have the little heat, which is your ASIC temperature your voltage regulator temperatures and your fan speed. I actually have mine at 100% running at all times. That's just me personally. Right now, default is gonna be at auto for you guys, but that's completely okay. And then it's gonna be the power. 
uh, all the input, stuff like that. But what you want to do now, since we got all that established, you're going to have to come over here to settings. And then you're going to over here and check your latest update. If it's the latest release, then you're good. If it's not, you're going to have to hit this little link right here. It's going to automatically start downloading it to your device or to your computer, I should say. You grab that, you come over to the firmware, and then you're going to have to throw it in right here. No big deal. Uh, update the website. You don't really have to do this. You could if you really want to. But I think this website right now is already pretty good as it is. As you can see, I have mine just to overclock slightly over here. This is going to be the default for you guys. I have it up by 10. No big deal. Same thing for the power consumption as well. Uh, so see, you guys will have an automatic fan. Any changes you do from this this side up, don't not including these, you're going to have to save and restart like always. Um, I kind of like this because you get to have like your logs. Like it shows you the logs, what you're your bid ax is actually doing if you're really that um that you're into it you want to see what exactly your device is doing this is going to be a good spot for you it's going to show your model name wi-fi and all this goodies for you guys over here um the swarm if you have different multiple um axes bid axes if you guys have um it's going to display the whole information for you guys you could restart both of them you could edit you can remove them from your thing. It just automatically does that for you. You can do an automatic scan, which is gonna it's gonna scan your Wi-Fi. It's gonna find both of these uh, going for you guys, and it's gonna give you all these little information right here for you guys. And then let's actually go over here. You customize. You can make this screen light. You know, I kind of really do like how they have this set up. You have all these different colors. I actually do. Uh, like how they actually have this website set up for you guys. It's really easy, accessible, uh, especially especially if you don't know exactly what you're doing or you're just barely getting into it. This is very beautiful for you guys, I, in my opinion. Now, if we scroll on the bottom of it, we're actually going to have the pool information that whatever you guys are in. And if you restarted your, your, uh, your bid axe, it's going to give you an uptime where the last time you actually... Uh, restarted it so this could always change it varies whatever how long how often do you restart your, your device mine i obviously started it almost two days ago so that is that now that we have the bases covered down let's actually go see where to actually get your hands on one of these i originally got both of these off of power mining but i am in the u.s so it does take a little bit longer um i do know that uh, Alter, Alter Labs is also um, starting to sell these. They also have, you know, a little bit more upgrades. I have the just the base, um, just the base gamma, to be honest. But now you can get the Ice Tower with the Silent Fan, which is going to be a little bit more more expensive, as you can see. It's a 324. Just the regular basic one is around 209. So you think about it, you're going to have to be paying another extra 100 for that if you do want that. Um, but yeah, they do have like these little graphs. It shows you all the the other ones before the gamma, which is going to be the best one out of the little family tree so far. Uh, these do use the S21 Pro chips that make these a little bit more better and then get that 1.1 tera hash, which is also pretty good, uh, more efficient than your average uh, Supra or your Ultra bit axes as well. So this is a nice little graph that it shows you off there's power mining. Uh, they really just go a lot of spe uh, specifications, you know, additional add-ons that they have. Like I have all of these add-ons that came with it as well. The upgraded fan came with it. Um, so yeah, I really got a lot of stuff. Power mining to me is where I might go to, but you know, if you like it safer and you want a more reliable spot, Altair Labs is, uh, oh, Altair is the best for you if you want it that way. It's up to you uh, how you guys want to go about it, but that's just what you're getting. It's about 20 watts. Mine right now is about 20 watts, so yeah, so it's not, they're not lying to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's exactly where to get, actually get one of these. But now you're, you're probably wondering, like, what is the chances 
that one of these actually hits a Bitcoin block to get my three Bitcoins in reward. Well, let's actually do the math here. Let's actually do the math here. There's gonna be this uh, site called Solo Luck. Uh, it's developed by another YouTuber uh, named Voscoin, as you can see on the bottom by Voscoin. I really like this calculator a lot. Uh, so you just enter your hash rate. Let's just say you just buy one. Um, so like, let's just say in a, in a day you get one in five million chances of just play one, this li one little machine and the chances per year is around 14,000. But if you get, if you do manage to see your luck hit, you would be getting around 300 K all these mining fees. Like you'd, you'd be seeing a good chunk of money. I'm not going to be lying to you guys right now. Um, so as you can see, this is going to be the next block reward, 3.14 transaction account fee in US would be three, $3.21. Um, so yeah, these actually do go or block fees in USD. It's about a thousand, which there you go. Minor B2Z. This would be your winning lottery which is 293 still very good off of a 200 hundred dollar investment to me that is uh that is a good deal i don't know about you guys but that's, that's better than actually winning the lottery or attempting to win the lottery which some of us have been trying to do that for years and for some reason my lucky numbers just don't hit <laughs> but that's just that's just the way it goes yeah so like i said i wouldn't recommend putting this on a group pool i would solo mine this just because it has less fees solo mining than you are in a group with all the transactions and fees that the groups really have for those pools it's really not worth it would not especially if you have one tera hash maybe if you had a little bit more then you know that'll be a little bit more worth it but as of right now i wouldn't recommend putting the gamma or any bid x in that matter into group pool um but yeah i really like this I really like this though, especially for like a lottery miner, you know, chances are winning is pretty slim, but I'd rather take that than an actual lottery, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Leave, please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if whatever you guys want to see in the next future videos, and I could try to fulfill them as much as possible. I feel like in the next video, we're probably going to try to upgrade one of these to see if it's really, or if it could really even push out at least two terahash right now it's at 1.3 terahash Let's see if we can get that to two maybe even three if we're lucky but that's probably going to be in the upcoming videos please let me know what you guys think in the comments and i'll see you guys next time